in a series, x1 plus x2 plus x3 dot 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 xn, each of the terms is either 9 or 99. If the sum of the series is 531, then what could be the value of n? All right, folks, the answer here is 29. And let's review why. The answer is 29, because when we check out the problem, there are a couple of things that we want to take note of. We see that this series is, you know, again, the sum of a bunch of numbers, but every number is either 9 or 99. So if the sum of the series is 531, then we want to know what n is. And to figure out what n is particularly, we look right here. We see that, oh, first term, second term, third term, nth term. So n indicates the number of terms. All right, that is the number of terms. So the only question is, well, how do we get the number of terms? And remember, when you start the problem off, remember to always identify what the goal is, which is what I did. Now we need to think about how we get to our goal. Well, the biggest key here is that every number is 999, and they all add up to 531. Now, one thing that you want to notice is that 9 and 99 share a common factor of 9. So what that means is, if you're adding a bunch of 9s and a bunch of 99s, the thing is, that 531, the sum, is also divisible by 9. Because if you have a bunch of 9s added with a bunch of multiples of 9, well then the result is going to be divisible by 9. So with that said, I can divide 531 by 9. And if I do that, what will I receive? What I receive is 59. So this means that 59 9s go into 531. Now why is that important? Well, the reason this is important is because when we check out the combinations that we can make, well, we understand that 99 is equal to 11 nines. I think we can understand that. And this is one of those problems where we can have a bunch of different answers here. And so it's important for us to just lay everything out and see which one is the first one that works. So since 11 nines make up 99, well, we see that initially we can have 59 nines right there. Because again, 531 divided by 9 is 59. So we can have 59 nines, which means n equals 59. Do we see that answer there? No. Up next, what I can try out, well, again, I said every 11 nines can be replaced by 99. So if I take away 11 of these nines, I'll end up with 48 nines, and then I'll have one 99. So n now is 49. You see what I'm doing here? And now if I keep going, and you're going to see a pattern pretty soon here, I can again take away another 11 nines, and I can have 37 nines, and now I can have two 99s. Again, every 99 can be replaced by 11 nines. And so now we have n equals 39. Do you see the pattern yet? 59, 49, 39, 29, 19. Those would all be answers. And so with that said, if I go down one more, you'll be able to see that we'll have 26 nines and three 99s. And that makes up 29 total numbers, which is why 29 is the answer. And again, if that doesn't make too much sense, just go ahead and add these up. If I had 48 times nine plus 99, that'd be 531. 37 nines and two 99s, again, still 531, et cetera, et cetera. All we're doing is using the conditions of the problem to make a bunch of cases to see which one of these fits. So with that said, there you are. We'll see you in the next question. Make sure to continue trying the question out first and then checking the solution.